Welcome to our APOS training section again. This time I want to give you a brief overview about the most important menu items of our APOS development environment. So I started APOS already and first of all what you see here we have a kind of a file explorer which lists you the program files of APOS and here you have an icon to the select the directory where you want to look in. Yeah, I changed to another one and you see there are other files in it. Then there is also a section which lists all the interfaces. So interfaces means the port between the PC and the motion control unit. So the one that's written in bold letters is the default interface. And this time now it's the simulator, but let me show how to change this. You go to the settings, interface. And here in the dialog, for example, you can to switch to USB, set this one as default, and you see here now it's USB. I want to switch back to simulator. The reason is that the simulator gives you the big chance that you can use almost everything of our APOS development environment without actually having a controller. So you can play around and try program and other features. And what might be helpful for the beginning is the help. <laughs> So here go to the contents and you see there is a section about getting started which gives you a lot of information about installing, wiring, starting and for example executing a simple test program. So I recommend if you don't have any experience with APOS start with this section getting started. Then the APOS user interface, it's a very common Windows user interface, so I don't want to spend too much time about explaining about this one, but everything is also described inside here about the user interface. If you are already a little bit experienced motion control expert, then this one might be interesting for you, motion control topics. Here we have something cam control, also with examples and also with program examples in it. And you see it's quite a short program for such a synchronization application. So scan around and have a look in it. Then we have a section programming with APOS which gives you an introduction how to program our motion control units with APOS. APOS is a kind of a high level programming language like structured text, basic or C but it is combined with very powerful motion control commands. And here we have, for example, a command reference. You can click on each of these commands and you have a lot of cross-reference to other commands. So just feel free to scan around to learn more about APOS programming. If you are interested in very special topics or having a look deep inside APOS and our motion control units where it's a technical reference. For example, here we have power down saving described and so on, how you can read out the voltage and so on. But now I want to close again the help system and in the next video you will, you will see how to write your first own small APOS program and how to start the simulator. I say thanks for this time and hope to see you again.